Okay, and I can speak. I can walk. Okay. Okay, it's a little bit noisy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, when oh. you, yeah, when you, <laughs> yeah, so let's, uh, let's now let's have another quick look at where it is so we all know, unpop that, okay, so possibly it could be, could be lifted a tiny bit, I guess, it's quite, it's quite far back, so possibly it could be higher, but I think that's a pretty good position, and then the mic itself, again, I think part of the issue here might be that down here, when the cable's taut, mm. You know, even far away, you hear little noises. So all, all I would always try and do mm. is roll the cable like that, put a bit of tape there, and just by put applying pressure to a cable, can put, yeah, it makes such a big difference. Mm. So if that was fabric just rubbing across it on a tight cable, compared to have a looseness there, pop it off, mm. nothing, nothing at all. So, I mean, it, whilst it's a quick rig, and this is normally what actors do, they stick it to themselves, and then, they, and then you ask them, is the cable loose? Yeah, yeah, the cable's loose. And then after a while, it will get pulled, and it will get pulled to the point where it's something like that, and that's a real problem. So, obviously, I would, my, my approach is always just to do a little loop here, get a little bit of tape, and just stick it like that underneath it. And that is enough now to remove any noises here. It's a weird thing with cables, <laughs> why it works exactly, but just having some pressure on the cable is enough for that to work, and obviously it avoids anything pulling. This area here is still sensitive, obviously, but here it's not. So that, that's definitely, a, definitely the first thing I would, I would look at. Um, one other thing you can do if you maybe don't have a loop that you can do, if I just show you quickly. So I'll just take this off. Oh, that's very sticky, that's good. Um, I would, some people don't agree with this technique, but Ooh. I try to do it sometimes. I just do a little knot, and again, if I stick that back on, where am I going to put it? I'm going to put it a bit higher this time. I'm going to put it braver a bit there. So, in, so now let's say that there's no tape at all, but now here, just because there's a knot there, it's the vibrations. Yeah. It's just done that, it's done the equivalent of a bit of tape. So if you're not going to have a bit of tape or you can't have a bit of tape here, then a knot will do the same thing. And if it's even a tight knot like that, and it, honestly that doesn't damage anything, that's fine. The DPA cables are quite good. Then that will fix that problem. So you don't need to put tape there. And I personally find if you put tape there, it makes a bit more noise sometimes. So I try to put the tape a little lower from the mic, give it a baby couple of inches and then tape it. Or if you want to really go crazy then, not and tape. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> so then you've got the knot is before the loop, so there's less noise here. And that's just another way of doing it. But yeah, let's know it's lifted a bit higher. Let's see if that's any better with the uh, noise of the rustle. Now it's sort of more, oh, I'll pop it again. Okay. It might not be. Maybe it's, oh. maybe it's slightly. Okay. So. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay. Can you lift? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm. But personally, if you're, if there was a section here, I would, mm. I would actually just stick it there on the skin. I would get it away from all this, yeah. mm. and I'd just stick it to your skin if I could just fold, fold this back. Yes. Yeah, I would just, even though it's quite high, I think it would sound quite good if I had a small mount just there, maybe, maybe just a little one of these mounts or something. I could just hide that quite easily under the T-shirt there. And then whilst it's quite high, it still actually provides quite good, quite a good strong voice, and it will, will avoid any, any of the rubbing here. Um, Shall we, now I've moved it just slightly, shall we have another lesson, see if, it, if that helps at all? All can I, I can talk, okay. Oh, it's really, really best. Uh, better, it's better, okay. 
I, I don't move too much, but uh, it's not bad, I think. Yeah. Okay. It's good, actually. Good. Yeah, yeah. I okay. think that's better, so right? And that, that's the, his the mic is the, it's the skin. Yeah. In the skin, just here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and, uh, and we put um, a little bit of tape. Uh -huh. Uh, it's a, uh, the cable I is with the book, the loop, book, the loop uh -huh. and a li cool. little bit of tape, mm -hmm. and uh, it's not bad. Yeah, but that's a good solution. So just so yeah, so they've just they've just stuck a little bit of super tape to stop these two items clanging against one another, and um, I think mostly we'll probably you probably get away with that on a wide shot or someone walking along. You're not going to hear that banging against that. Cool. Okay. Cool. Nice one. Uh, and I'm not really sure this is needed. I don't think no, you need it's yeah. not yeah. needed. But yeah. we wanted to test, try. It. Yeah. try. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> but uh, it's yeah. not a. Uh, uh, Sometimes sticking too much things is yeah. <laughs> fake when they move, so you can uh, give some room with. The, the other thing I've noticed is that the tape you use to stick your mic down, if that begins to unpeel, then you'll end up hearing the tape. You'll oh, yeah. think you're hearing the fabric, but you're hearing yes. your own tape coming unstuck. So super tape is good because it's very quiet, but it's just sometimes if you put too much tape, yeah. if, you use, if you use a big square of tape for a small section, you will hear your own tape coming apart. And, and especially if a costume person, they want to, yeah. oh, I want to stick that section to that section. And then, so it's perfect. But then, you know, two takes later, yeah. it will begin to peel yeah. and you'll just hear that yeah. sound. So I always try to avoid sticking layers because eventually they, you will just hear yeah. that sound appealing. Yeah, and sometimes uh, when I have an assistant who's rigging a microphone, he's yeah. doing something, and I say, it's not enough, and you go back and you put more stuff, and at some point you, you're just like, yeah, just stop. You remove everything, you just put a little bit of butter or something else, and it's perfect. Yeah. So sometimes less is more. So, yes. Yeah. Very much, yeah. very much. I think this is a good example of that. We just yeah. went, we went to the simplest solution yeah. uh, and got a much better result. Great, okay, do you want to try something completely different? Yeah, and I can show you. Oh yeah? Ah, oh, okay, yes. Oh, can we listen to, what number is your one?